This week's show, just let's get straight into it. Firstly, um, Kaiser Chiefs, uh, big, big return from Turkey where there was huge expectation. Big crowd in Bluffetain, which is once again the uh, case in them showing us their love for football and looking forward for the next season. And as you said, Yanga, but the result, big for Yanga, but maybe it's a point of a Chiefs, Jerry? Yes, it's a, I think for me, I cannot maybe get too much on the results to say I'm going to judge Chiefs the way they performed. I mean, mm. they just came back from Turkey, maybe a little bit of fatigue and also maybe the altitude that they have to readjust Jesus. coming to Zanzi, you know. But look, I think I cannot go against what the coach was believing because mm -hmm. Nabi, for me, when he was still working in Morocco, is somebody who can stand up and give instructions the mm -hmm. way he wants things to be. But they was just quiet and just watching, maybe taking notes of each and every individual that he has given the chance to play. So for him, the result was not that important. The player's behavior inside the field, because you talk about the three youngsters that I've, 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 I, I had to look at. I mean, the left back, which was Mbutu, you look at the second goal that happened, you look at Villagazi, the team is 2-0 down, turning around with the ball, show so good, yeah. And now you go and get Zwane, who get a throw in, a big pass, and then he gives to the opposition to go and score. So those are the things that the coach would sit and say, these are things that I need to rectify from the youngsters in terms of how they need to play. Because we really need them. Mm. You know, they get promoted. And that's how we got into Pierce to play there. Because we were still young, but we had coaches that will give us the guidance. Now, Shane, uh, you said last week, both you gentlemen said, three weeks away in Turkey, new coach, perfect because maybe it gets the pressure but to relieve a bit of the pressure off. Kaiser Madawan Jr. said the same thing upon the return um, and there's that return with fans expecting something. The showing tells you that they're expecting something and looking forward to the new season, especially after the kit release uh, most recently. Do you think there was pressure on Chiefs? Do you think there is pressure on Chiefs in that now? There's always pressure on Chiefs. Um, we all know that. It's, yeah. it's a club, uh, all the big clubs are going to have pressure. You always got the pressure. You look at the, the way this game was played. I mean, um, he played the three youngsters. Yeah, the showboating. That would never happen in my day. The, the coach would have pulled him off straight away, taught him a lesson, showed him what uh, football's about. But anyway, it's all part and parcel of the game and learning. But for me, for Chiefs, yeah, they, they looked at it. They got beaten 4 0. They put more pressure on themselves now. But the saving grace for them now is they got the, the, basically a full month to work on the team, to bring in new players, to work mm. on a new system. You've got to understand when a new coach comes in, he changes the way of play, he changes everything. There's a lot of players that have just come in that are still learning his style of play. Mm -hmm. um, for me... And he's learning his players as well. Yeah, exactly. And for me, uh, uh, you know, younger are a very, very good team. Oh. You know, if you look at the results against Sundowns, you look at where they are in, in, in Africa, they are a very, very good team. I think they took it too lightly. I'm talking about Chiefs this game. Um, but for me, I think there's a vast improvement to come, and hopefully there's vast improvement to come. Well, let's hope, and many of Kaiser Chiefs fans will be hoping that, uh, of course, will be the case. 